What's going on, everybody? So we're going to explain how you can feel enlightenment right now. Um, it's not the euphoric experience, but at the same time, it is. So, it's very simple. It's actually more simple than it sounds. A lot of people make it more difficult than it is. And it's our natural state. So, scrap the channel. Okay, so, we're going to say... Well, this is, but I'm just going to be drawing pictures to help you out. This right here is the alpha wave. Also, we can call it God. And this is where you want to be at. <laughs> now, the thing about this is this wave that we're riding on, our natural wave, it's very still and calm. And it's very controlled in a way too. But this is our natural state. Um, so our natural state is having no thoughts. It's very simple, actually. When you have no thoughts, You have no problems. <laughs> and why you have no problems? It's because you can't think of anything. You're not thinking of anything. So there is no problems. Also, you can't suffer. And that's the whole paradoxical thing. Is that. When you think someone would be suffering. Such as dying. In the moment of dying. Only if you think about it. <laughs> it's going to cause you more suffering. In fact, death is the greatest relief. <laughs> it's not what it's meant to be on TV or the screen that you hear about. Death is actually a homecoming and a relief. So anyways, we kind of dove off the deep end if there were... a board to dive off of <laughs> and I'm not going to make this video too long so when you have thoughts 
they're drawing you in and you have desires they're drawing you in they have their own power basically so when you have a desire or a thought your your waves are becoming disrupted you're not at this alpha wave you're at like more so beta wave A beta wave and a beta wave is not where you want to be because it's going to cause suffering because you're attached and you're putting your energy and also your unconsciousness to this beta wave your thought right here is drawing all of your energy. It's taking you into it. Do you? I hope you understand what I'm saying and showing you. It's taking you into it. And you don't want this. You don't want this. Because it's going to make you suffer. Now, people who are weak-willed and don't follow the intuition doesn't, especially a weak-willed, there doesn't mean they're going to suffer necessarily, but usually they get caught up in the thoughts. So, let's just say I just masturbated and I feel bad, or I shouldn't have done that, or I could be doing better at this. These are all thoughts of, you know, maybe a weak-willed person, you could say. And they don't matter because they're just a thought. So instead of being on the stillness or natural state up here, that stillness, no thoughts, you could even say aware, you can be aware of your thoughts and still be here but the best part's when you get no thoughts because when you have no thoughts like i just had then you are in the flow of things which is magnificent because when you're in the flow of things which you probably have doing something you really like it feels really good and you have nothing to criticize it nothing to compare it to you're just there and you're just doing the activity basically now you could be doing no activity also so you want to get to this wave which is our natural state a calm and smooth you can be going fast yes you can but <clears throat> Uh, for most people, it's going to be a slow thing. <laughs> so, you don't want to... When you get drawn into your thought, you actually become it. And you think it. Someone said I suck. Uh, about my music. Someone said I'll never be anything. Someone said I'm ugly. Doesn't matter... It's only when you think about it is when it affects you. So eventually, even if something does affect some, uh, someone suffering, uh, negativity, neg uh, self-doubt or self-talk, eventually it's going to wear off. Now, what happens when it wears off? Well, usually the person doesn't even know it wears off because... They just, they, they're just not aware or they just forget about it and they have no thoughts on their mind. They're not thinking about it no more or worst case scenario, they think about something else. Who would have guessed? So they're not on that same thought and on that same pattern. They change their pattern basically to a different 
scenario. But again, the best in natural state is no thought, which everybody has. <laughs> and you get drawn into these thoughts, desires, especially desires, because let's just say, <clears throat> as soon as you desire something, then you want it. You think about it. As soon as you have no desires, let's just say I don't want a girlfriend. Um, let's just say I uh, don't want to go to a certain place. I don't need to do this. More so like an absolute need. Then you're free. You're free of the world and the things that hold you down here, basically. Which is a blessing. And that's basically it. So, so you want to get to this natural state, which is a flow state, and even more so a calmness and stillness. Whereas wanting and desire is very erratic because even if you do get that girlfriend that you want you're gonna you're gonna want something else from that you're gonna want her to give you the best sex you're gonna want her to give you love you're gonna want her not to cheat on you you're gonna want her to make you food you're gonna want her to do this you're gonna expect her to do that but she's not gonna do that because those are just thoughts in your head and she's not that person she's not that thing and you can see I'm creating I'm creating this wavelength of her needing to be this or that, this thing, but she's, but it, I'm creating this and it's ultimately creating suffering for my own self. It's almost like a ricochet where it hits a mirror and comes back at me. <laughs> it's like all our stuff is a double-edged sword and it is used against us basically for her, for ourselves this mirror for ourselves basically and we're just looking into it so it's just projecting our reality onto it okay i think that's i think that's it No one's ever going to be what you think they're going to be. And no one's going to act the certain way that you think they're going to act. Now, sometimes, may that happen? For sure. But you'll learn and grow that's not necessarily the case. And it's not going to happen most of the time. 